Shred Mentor Challenge of the Day, number 59. Today we're going to be doing a lot of diminished sevenths, but three notes per string, so get ready to do a lot of stretching. We're going to be aligning our diminished seventh to the A harmonic minor scale and finishing once again on the fifth. Here goes. Okay, so all that's going on there is one simple sequence, and it's basically diminished sevenths on three notes per string. So kind of like what we do when we do two notes per string, we're going to go up a fret pretty much every time, except for the very last phrase there. So let's look at what that sequence is, first of all, because once you see what that is, um, the sliding, it won't be that likely to throw you off. So... <laughs> Okay, that is the whole, that's the whole formula right there. Six notes, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four. That's the sequence. We're gonna slide up to that last note that we played there and play it from here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four. Slide down three frets. One, two, three, four, five, six, five, four. We slide up three frets. One, two, three, string skip. One, two, three, or four, five, six, five, four. Then we're gonna do a final slide there. So that's basically all it is. Since it's a diminished seventh, this stretch is probably gonna be the hardest part. And this is as hard as it's gonna get really at the seventh fret of your sixth string. There is a repeat note here. Goes Ultimately, it's from here, it's three frets higher and then three four, more frets higher. So that's going to be six frets and then your tritone, it's going to give you a repeat note. But that doesn't really need to matter. Let's treat it like it's a different note for the sake of our technique. So since everything in the diminished seventh is just minor thirds everywhere in both directions from any note, we can just move up or down three frets. Down, up. And that last phrase is where we do the string skip. So we're actually at 13. We're not playing the second string at all in this, and we're sliding there. A little bonus thing that you can kind of get out of this one is that you could really just do this as its own little phrase, this sequence. So there's a little extra bonus version there. Feel free to back that up and watch it again. But this time I'm using the seventh string and I'm just going every two strings. When I get to whatever my last note is, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm gonna just pick again. And then here, basically I usually just do the string skip from the third string to the first string. You could also do it on the second string to the, uh, sorry, for the fourth string to the second string as well. So that's just a little extra bonus thing built into it. But one more time, the original version of the idea, starting from seven of the sixth string. All right, you give it a try and I'll see you again tomorrow.